Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. Have you ever wondered, why is Broadlink black and shiny, and Sonoff is white and pure? Hmm. Alexa, what's that up ahead? You're right, it does look abandoned. It's almost as if a company started making it and then just stopped for no apparent reason. I'm taking us in for a closer look. Oh no, it's brought Vader! I have you now, young Paul Walker. Wait, 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 wait a second. I can't be Paul Walker. Paul Walker is from the Fast and the Furious series. Um, we're gonna get sued. You'll, you'll have to come up with something else. Oh, uh, Sky Hibbert then. <clears throat> anyway, I am the only home automation product in the galaxy. No! That's impossible! Search your feelings. You know it to be true. <laughs> so Broadlink are obviously not the only smart home controller on the market. There are loads of them. Uh, but before I go down that route, I wanted to explain the rather clickbaity sounding title. Sadly, it is not clickbait. I am actually genuinely terrified of the future of home automation. And here's why. Back in the day, we had one method of controlling our light switches and our plug sockets and our TVs and all of those things. We had a device in our house that we would teach how to control those things. Later on, large companies went, we're evil, and what we would like to do is to take all the control away from you and we will have the control. And the way in which they did that was they said, instead of this device existing in your house, it's going to exist on the internet and we will own it. Uh, you will program our device on the internet to control your things in your house. Uh, that is the case for Logitech. Uh, now it's the case for Broadlink, since very recently. It's always been the case for S on off, or Son off, or Son off, however you want to pronounce that. It's the case for Nest, it's the case for Wemo, it's the case for practically everybody. Why is that a problem, I hear you cry. Well, first of all, if your internet connection goes down, these things are no longer controllable by either Alexa, because it relies on the internet, or in fact, your phone. You can't control these things at the press of a button anymore because the internet connection is not there to get to their server. Not such a big problem. The big problem is, what if these companies go bust? Their server is gone. If their server is gone, you can't control your devices ever again, not just for the duration of your internet connection not being there, you will never be able to control those devices again. That means that actually when you buy devices, you're not just investing that bit of money in that product, you're investing in that company. You're saying that company is gonna be around for as long as I want to control these things. If that company goes bust, you're screwed. So what is this video about? This video is about offering you alternatives to Broadlink because I no longer trust Broadlink. I'm not going to get into why, aside from the fact that they offered us a UK skill for Alexa that was definitely, definitely going to be released on February the 10th, and it definitely, definitely wasn't, but for a whole host of other reasons, and again, not getting into them right now, here is the alternative. Ta-da! Yay, stuff! Okay, what we got here? We've got an S20 plug socket. This thing you would use in place of your RF plug sockets. These cost a little bit more than an RF plug socket. You only get one in a pack. Uh, you can get a pack of three RF plug sockets cheaper than you would get three of these, but this doesn't require a hub. If you weren't thinking about plugging in lots of things, this is a much better option than Broadlink because you don't need a hub, uh, and it has an Alexa skill straight off the bat that actually works, works properly. Uh, this is also Wi-Fi, so we can go a further distance than an RF plug socket. It is better all round, but therefore costs a little bit more money. Uh, this channel is about saving money, so although that is the easiest option, it's not the cheapest. Uh, so, let me show you something that is in fact even cheaper than an RF uh, plug socket. This thing uh, is something that will involve you bearing your wires. Uh, so basically you cut your plug off of your device, snip, 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 uh, and you take the wiring out of your plug and you put the wiring into one side of this and you're wiring off to your device into the other side of this and then this thing sits in the middle switching your device on and off. And these are stupendously cheap, they're like three pounds, four pounds, something like that. 
Uh, this little button here is like a manual on off button, but it works again directly with Alexa straight off the bat. No hub required and it's Wi-Fi, so it has all the advantages of this thing, but is super, super, super cheap. Uh, next up we have their RF controller. Don't get too excited just yet. Uh, this isn't a direct replacement for a Broadlink RM Pro, sadly, because it does, in fact, struggle to learn a lot of devices. I can get this to learn about 50% of my devices. It will learn my RF plug sockets, but won't learn my RF light switches. So, like, incredibly cheap. Uh, so there are loads of RF things that will work with this, uh, but a whole bunch that won't as well, and I'm hoping that Sonoff are going to improve on that. Uh, finally is this. I don't own one of these. Uh, so the reason I haven't got one of these is because I don't have a neutral wire uh, in my mains light switch, so I can't actually fit one of these in my house. You might be able to, and if you can, this is currently the switch I am recommending for everybody because, again, it connects directly to Alexa without the need of a hub, uh, and they're well-priced and look pretty. Uh, if you don't have a neutral wire, I'm hoping Sonoff, or however you want to pronounce that, is going to eventually release a, a mains light switch that doesn't require a neutral wire. For now, those are your options, and they are better than Broadlink in almost every way. So perhaps you're a non-cloud-based individual. Maybe you have a Raspberry Pi in your house or an Android device with the RM plug-in installed on it and it controls your light switches and your plug sockets and you're going, meh, everything's still working for me. It won't forever. Unfortunately, it's not Broadlink that are enforcing this whole cloud-based thing, it's Amazon. This means if you buy, and this is today, I'm not talking about the future, you buy an Echo Dot today or an Echo Show or an Echo anything, You'll find it can't control your RM plugin, it can't control your Raspberry Pi, and that's because they are blocking everything that is non-cloud based. That is very, very sad. So what do we do about it? There is nothing that we can do about it, really, because we can't stop Amazon making these choices. The only thing that we can do is mitigate the damage that it might do to us, and my mitigation tactic right now is to move away from Broadlink. Broadlink are not a company I trust right now because they keep making stupid mistakes and they keep making empty promises. Right now, Sonoff have been around for a lot longer than Broadlink. Uh, their devices do what they are supposed to do. Their Alexa skill works properly. And when I contacted them, they were helpful and friendly rather than weird. So Sonoff is my current automation piece of choice. It is the thing that my videos will be primarily based on going forwards. Does this mean I'll never support Broadlink again? Absolutely not, I will. Uh, does it mean there'll never be a Broadlink video again? No, because I still have a Broadlink device myself, I still think it's a good product, and I can't wait for it to work properly. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help support my channel, there are links in the description to do that too. I'll see you next time. I have the better to be a bob. So the answer... Incorrect, Paul. Incorrect. No, I'm gonna start again. Alexa, what's that up ahead? That's terrible. That's already sh <laughs> This is gonna be the worst. I'm not an actor. More intensity, that's what George Lucas would say.